हेलो एवरीबॉडी यू आर वेलकम टू दिस चैनल आई एम अतनु बेताल दिस वीडियो लेक्चर इज अबाउट द बेसिसिटी ऑफ एन एसिड एंड आई वुड डिफाइन दैट व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय मोनोबेसिक एसिड डाइबेसिक एसिड ट्राइबेसिक एसिड टेट्राबेसिक एसिड दे आर एग्जाम्पल्स एंड डेफिनेशंस आई वुड क्लियर ऑल दिस पॉइंट्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो लेक्चर I would like to remind you that if you are new to this channel or you do not subscribe this channel then you can subscribe it right now we start the discussions regarding the basicity of an acid an acid means a substance that can produce h plus ion in its aqueous solution okay so uh, now we classify it as monobasic dibasic tribasic means based on it based on the based on the acidity Uh, sorry basicity we can classify as the monobasic acid dibasic acid tribasic acid and tetrabasic acid okay suppose the, at first we uh, clear uh, the point of basicity what do we mean by basicity of an acid basicity of an acid means the number of h plus ion produced by one molecule of an acid in its aqueous solution number of h plus ion number of hydrogen ion produced by one molecule of the acid in its aqueous solution is called basicity of the acid if suppose one acid produce only one h plus ion per molecule then we call the acid as monobasic acid and if one molecule of an acid can produce two h plus ion in its aqueous solution then we call it as a dibasic acid and if it produce means if any acid can produce three h plus ion in its aqueous solution then we can call it as a tribasic acids okay so basicity of an acid means the number of h plus ion is produced by an acid in its aqueous solution or we can define it in this way like number of oh minus ion react with one molecule of an acid number of oh minus ion reacting with one molecule of an acid is also called the basicity of an acid okay in this two way we can define the basicity of an acid right now we discuss about the types of basicity means monobasic dibasic and tribasic acids suppose at first we discuss about monobasic acids or you can call it a uh, mono protic mono protic acids okay both are same mono basic acid means the acid which can produce only one h plus ion in its aqueous solution as for example hcl when dissolve in water it can form one h plus ion okay it has one h plus ion in its uh, molecule so in aqueous solution it can produce one h plus ion and for this reason this is called a monobasic acid because in aqueous solution it can produce only one h plus ion because one hydrogen atom in a cl is ionizable only one hydrogen atom so in water it can produce only one h plus so the acid that can produce one h plus in its aqueous solution is called a mono basic acids in hcl in aqueous solution it can produce h plus ion plus cl minus ion so only one h plus ion is produced per molecule of hcl per molecule of one uh, per one molecule of hydrochloric acid only one h plus is formed a uh, produce in the aqueous solution and for this reason hcl is called a monobasic acid okay or monoprotic acid and when it reacts with base when it reacts with a base like sodium hydroxide it can produce only one kind of salt only okay and it is a normal salt normal salt it is it is producing only one kind of salt when it reacts with base sodium hydroxide it is normal salt normal salt is formed when this monobasic acid reacts with a base only one kind of salt is formed 
सो ए सी एल इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द मोनोबेसिक एसिड राइट नाउ वी डिस्कस अबाउट द एनादार एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मोनोबेसिक एसिड और मोनोप्रोटिक एसिड मोनोप्रोटिक एसिड और मोनोबेसिक एसिड एसिटिक एसिड सी एच थ्री सी डबलओ एच दिस इज कॉल्ड एसिटिक एसिड दिस वन इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मोनोबेसिक एसिड बिकॉज हेयर ओनली वन हाइड्रोजेन दिस हाइड्रोजेन इज आयोनाइजेबल दिस थ्री हाइड्रोजेन्स आर नॉट आयोनाइजेबल नॉन आयोनाइजेबल हाइड्रोजेन सो द रीजन फॉर द बेसिक फॉर द एसिडिक नेचर इज दिस हाइड्रोजेन दिस हाइड्रोजेन इज आयोनाइजेबल इट हैज फोर हाइड्रोजेन एटम्स बट ओनली वन हाइड्रोजेन एटम इज आयोनाइजेबल एंड इज दिस वन सी डबलओ एच दिस हाइड्रोजेन इज आयोनाइजेबल एंड फॉर दिस रीजन इट कैन प्रोड्यूस ओनली वन एच प्लस आयोन एंड एसिटेड आयोन इन इट्स एक्वास सोल्यूशन दिस इज एच प्लस आयोन एंड दिस इज एसिटेड आयोन एच प्लस आयोन और यू कैन इफ यू गिव वाटर हेयर देन यू कैन राइट इट एच थ्री ओ प्लस आयोन हुईच इज कॉल हाइड्रोनियम आयोन हाइड्रोनियम आयोन एंड एसिटेड आयोन इज फॉर्म हेयर एसिटिक एसिड इज बिहेविंग एज ए मोनोबेसिक एसिड बिकॉज वन एसिटिक एसिड मॉलिक्यूल कैन गिव ओनली वन एच प्लस आयोन इन द एक्वा सोल्यूशन एंड फॉर दिस रीजन इट इज मोनोबेसिक एसिड बट यू नो इट हैज फोर हाइड्रोजेन एटम बट थ्री हाइड्रोजेन एटम्स आर नॉन आयोनाइजेबल ओनली वन हाइड्रोजेन एटम इज आयोनाइजेबल एंड दैट इज आयोनाइज एंड फॉर्मिंग द मोनो एंड फॉर दिस रीजन इट इज कॉल्ड द मोनोबेसिक एसिड सो एसिटिक एसिड इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मोनोबेसिक एसिड एंड हेयर यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दैट नंबर ऑफ आयोनाइजेबल हाइड्रोजेन एटम रिप्रेजेंट द बेसिसिटी ऑफ एन एसिड नंबर ऑफ आयोनाइजेबल हाइड्रोजन दिस हाइड्रोजन आर नॉट रिप्रेजेंटिंग दीस मीन्स मीन्स आयोनाइजेबल हाइड्रोजन नॉट आयोनाइजेबल हाइड्रोजन सो फॉर दिस रीजन दिस वन इज प्रोड्यूसिंग ओनली वन एच प्लस आयन इन ई पार मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ एसिटिक एसिड सो फॉर दिस रीजन दिस वन इज कॉल ए मोनोबेसिक एसिड and monobasic acid when reacts with a base it can produce only normal salt only one kind of salt and after this example of monobasic acid we discuss about the dibasic dibasic acids or you can say it diprotic acid in case of the diprotic acid it can produce 2h plus ion in its aqueous solution 2h plus ions like if we take example of h2so4 and h2so4 ionizes in two steps to form 2h 2h plus and so4 2 minus it ionizes in two steps to form this uh, you can you can use one one arrow only because it is a strong acid so 2h plus and so4 2 minus and the it ionizes in uh, two steps h2so4 2 at first h plus and h so4 minus this is the first step this is the first step and in the second step from h so4 minus it produce h plus and so4 2 minus sulfate ion so this h2so4 molecule one molecule of h2so4 ionizes in two steps at first it release one h plus ion and then h so4 minus again release one h plus ion so for this reason h2so4 is a dibasic acid it can produce two h plus ion in its aqueous solution and and uh, you know the h2so4 can produce two types of salt h2so4 when reacts with a base it can produce two types of salts okay like we see the example of the reaction of h2so4 with sodium hydroxide it can produce na hso4 plus water and in the next case when na hso4 again reacts with naoh it forms na2so4 and h2o
it is forming Na2SO4 and H2O and the, in the first step it is forming a, an acidic salt. Acidic salt or acid salt is formed in the first step and the, in the last step it is for, form a normal salt. Normal salt is formed means two types of salts is formed by this dibasic acid. Dibasic acids means the acids that have two ionizable hydrogen uh, atom, uh, hydrogen ion two or you can say hydrogen atom present in the molecule of acid, two hydrogen atom, ionizable hydrogen atom. So or acid that can give two H plus ion in the aqueous solution, they are called a dibasic acid and dibasic acid some other examples are like H2CO3 it is called carbonic acid H2CO3 it is a dibasic acid and it is a weak acid so it ionizes uh, in equilibrium form and it produces uh, 2H plus and CO3 2 minus ion okay so it is dibasic acid in aqueous solution it can produce 2H plus ion the other examples are oxalic acid it can produce also co minus and 2h plus and for this reason oxalic acid is an example of dibasic acid so right now we discuss about our third type of uh, acid and this is a tribasic acids tribasic acids Tri basic acids, tri basic acids means the acids that have uh, three hydrogen atom that are ionizable or that can give three H plus ion in the aqueous solutions. In the aqueous solution, uh, when an acid can produce three H plus ion, it is, then it is called a tri basic acid. An example of this tri basic acid is H3PO4 called orthophosphoric acid. H3PO4 can produce uh, 3, 3H plus and PO4 3 minus. Here 3H H plus ion is produced in the aqueous solution of the phosphoric acid. In aqueous solution it can produce uh, 3H plus ion and 1 uh, phosphate ion PO4 3 minus. So, this phosphoric acid, orthophosphoric acid is an example of tribasic acid. Look at its the structure of the phosphoric acid H3PO4. Uh, this is the structure of the phosphoric orthophosphoric acid. You can use OH also here. So here we are seeing the three OH group present in one molecule of the orthophosphoric acid and as a result of this ionizable hydrogen atom present means this OH group is polar in nature and these hydrogen atoms are all ionizable hydrogen atom and can produce H plus ion uh, 3 H plus ion by this molecule in aqueous solution and for this reason it is called a tribasic acid and it, it ionizes in three steps. This is a tribasic acid and it ionizes in three steps and can produce three types of salts when it reacts with base. H3PO4 at first ionizes to form H plus and H2PO4 1 minus. Okay, and in the next step, H2PO4 produce H plus plus HPO4 minus and HPO4 minus in the last step produce H plus and PO4 3 minus. So these are the three steps of ionization. This is a polybasic acid and it can ionizes in three steps. It can ionizes in three steps. It is a polybasic acid and ionizes in three steps and releasing the three H plus ion in the three steps. So this is why it is called a tribasic acid and tribasic acid it can produce three salts when it reacts with a base okay 
एच थ्री पीओ फोर रियक्स हुई बेस एन एम ओच एट फार्ष्ट हिट कैन फर्म सल्ट एंड एच सरि व्टार एंड एन एच टू पीओ फोर एट फार्ष्ट एन एच टू पीओ फोर इज फर्म दें एन एच टू पीओ फोर वेन एगेन रियक्स उथ एन एच इट फर्म्स एन ए टू एच पीओ फोर प्लस व्टार एंड वेन एन ए टू एच पीओ फोर एगेन रियक्स उथ एन एच इट फर्म्स एन ए थ्री पीओ फोर एंड व्टार सो दिस टू दिस टू आर एक्साम्पल अफ एसिडिक सल्ट टू आर एसिडिक सल्ट दिस वन इज नर्माल सल्ट सो टू एसिडिक सल्ट एंड वन नर्माल सल्ट इज प्रड्यूस बै दि फसफोरिक एसिड वेन इज रियक्स उथ बेस दिस इज एक्साम्पल अफ ए ट्राई बेसिक एसिड एंड नाउ उ सी द एक्साम्पल अफ ए टेट्रा बेसिक एसिड टेट्रा बेसिक एसिड मीन्स एन एसिड दैट कैन प्रड्यूस फोर एच प्लस आयन इन इट्स एक्वा सल्यूशन एंड इट्स एक्साम्पल इज दिस वन पायरोफसफोरिक एसिड मीन्स एच फोर पी टू एंड ओ सेवेन दिस मलिक्यूल इज एन एक्साम्पल अफ ए टेट्रा बेसिक एसिड टेट्रा बेसिक एसिड पायरोफसफोरिक एसिड which is an example of tetra basic acid because it has 1 2 3 4 and 4 four wage group present in this molecule and four wage groups uh, means uh, hydrogen atom is ionizable and it can produce four h plus ion in the aqueous solution and for this reason this pyrophosphoric acid is called a tetra basic acid it has four ionizable hydrogen atom so this is the uh, overall discussions of the monobasic acid dibasic acid tribasic acid tetrabasic acid and basicity of the acid and one point you have to note that the number of hydrogen atom present in an acid does not indicate the basicity of the acid basicity of the acid depends on the number of ionizable hydrogen atom present in the acid it is not uh, depended on the number of hydrogen atom present in the acid number of ionizable hydrogen atom present in the acid uh, it is the important factor for the basicity of the acid so thank you for watching this discussions regarding the basicity of acid and if you if you find this video lecture is uh, uh, giving you some uh, learning or and educating you then you can subscribe this channel and uh, you can uh, if you find this video lecture is interesting or you are learning something then you can like this video also